we may get a decision today, for instance, from Fulton County, which would remove, if it's granted, remove the case from the state court system to the federal court system. Now, will it move all of the cases or just some of them? We don't know. So the question really is, is that going to have an impact on the primaries? Probably not, right? I think what would happen to have a move on the primaries would be if there were convictions being made where President Trump was convicted. I don't think, I think it's the only thing is that if that something like that happened while people were voting, I think you're up into a situation where it's impossible to predict how voters would respond. But isn't but that we do the Democratic know, plan so right far, now to try to get a conviction? Don't you think? I like believe that, it is, Because yes. the indictment hasn't worked. The indictment yeah. has only made Donald Trump more popular, has made more people think there is a two system, tiered system of justice, that what we've been saying about a witch hunt is true, and that they are will do everything possible to try and prevent him from being president or even being the nominee. So it hasn't worked to indict. That hasn't worked. So now what do they have to try? Well, now they're stuck with indicting him. So now they've got to try to move forward in one of these cases and rush for some kind of conviction. And pr- then plunge us into that, what I think would be, a constitutional chaos about what happens to a convicted former president who's protected by the Secret Service if they ever got to a conviction. They also have to be concerned that any of these jury cases, that these juries are going to be very confused about these so-called charges that they're bringing because they're so novel in theory yeah. that they, they may you might easily be able to get a jury and each yeah, time to and say, having, eh. And having one, all you need is one juror to hang right. the jury. If there's a conviction in Fulton County... Jay and Jordan, that conviction is not good outside that courthouse because the Georgia Court of Appeals has to review it and they're not going to ever affirm a conviction on these trumped up ridiculous charges. Do you think they're that conservative? Yes, I do. What about the Supreme Court of Georgia? Yes, I do. Because there's some thought that they'd be better off in federal court. Well, they may be. Yeah, and the jury I, pool would be better. The jury pool would be drawn from the Northern District of Georgia, which goes all the way to the South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee border, and it would not just include Fulton County. I would rather see them tried in federal court, but for some reason, some of the defendants prefer to stay in Fulton yeah, they, County. they do, and the question's going to be, if one goes, do they all go? And that seems to be Good what question. the law is, and yes. it's not clear, though. I think that everything that the Democrats are doing to weaponize the justice system yep. against us Trump is really beginning to tell the message for us. We are seeing independents say that they've had enough. This is now with 91 charges against the president. It's too much. They've overplayed it and people see it. 